ಗೋಪೇಶೋಪಿಕಾಂತರಾಧಾಕಾಂತನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಂಚನ್ ಗೌರಂಗೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಾ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೇವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧೆ ಗುರುಕಾನಂದ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತರುಣ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗಯನ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತರುಣ್ ಜಿ ರೈಟ್ ತೋ ಅಪನ್ ಕಲ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಥರ್ಡಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಡ್ ರಹೆ ಥೆ ಆಂಡ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ವೇನ್ ಕೆ ಬಾರೆ ಮೇ ಅಪನ್ ಲೋಕ ಪಡ್ ರಹೆ ಯಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಧೂ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಕಿಂಗ್ ವೇನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಆಸ್ಪೇಷಿಯಸ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೌ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಆಫ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ವೇನ್ ರೈಟ್ and they went and also tried to explain him um you know how to properly govern how to do the right activities and so on and so forth uh but king wen had the power in his head and he, and he was pretty much thinking that he is actually the he is the one who should be worshiped not the bhagwan and so now the sages are thinking what should be done so yesterday we were reading that but for king wen who is simply inauspicious who would bless bless him the supreme personality of godhead by whose mercy one is awarded all kinds of fortune of fortune and opulence but even to the lord also he will uh you know, not understand so let's continue reading shlok 34 anil ji ಸೇಜೆಸ್ಟ್ thus without using any weapons the sages killed king wen simply by high sounding words hare krishna hare krishna so the sages actually eliminates king wen yeah tarun rishi b so ಸ್ವಸ್ವರಮ ಸ್ವಶ್ರಮಪದ ಪದ ಗತೆ ಪುತ್ರ ಪುತ್ರ ಕಲೇವರ ಸುನೀತಾಪಲಯ ಅಸ ವಿದ್ಯಾಯೋಗೇನ ಸೋಷತಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೇಜಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟು ದ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಹರ್ಮಿಟೇಜಸ್ ದ ಮದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ವೇನ ಸುನೀತಾ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಅಗ್ರೀವ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಡೆತ್ she decided to perceive persevere the dead body of her son to sorry to preserve the dead body of her son by the application of certain ingredients and by chanting mantras mantra yogena hare krishna hare krishna yeah. so sunita who is the mother of king wen is actually deciding to preserve the body of her king wen ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಹರೇ 
Hare Krishna. Yes, yes. Um, okay, the shloka, right? Ekado muniyaste tu sarasvata sarasvatsalila lutaha putva agnina satkata shukhu rupa vrishtaha saritate. Once upon a time, the same saintly, after taking their bath in the river Saraswati, began to perform their daily duties by offering oblations into the sacrifice of fires. After this sitting in the bank of the river, they began to talk about the transcendental person and his pastimes. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> In those days, there were various disturbances in the country that were creating a panic in society. Therefore, all the sages began to talk amongst themselves. Since the king is dead and there is no protector in the world, Misfortune may befall <clears throat> people in general on account of rogues and thieves. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. So there is no king, and so of course the country is in chaos. Right. Hare Krishna, Rinaji. Hare Krishna, Vijay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare when the great sages were carrying on their discussion in this way, they saw a dust storm arising from all directions. This storm was caused by the running of thieves and rogues who were engaging in plundering the citizens. <coughs> Hare Krishna. Yeah. So this is your Dhavatam Sarvato Disham. Basically seeing a dust storm because of all the chaos which is going on because of the lake of king. Yeah. Jyoti? Tadu Pradravamadnaya Lokasya Vasu Lo lo matha bharturya parate tasmenanyo nyamcha jigam satam chira prayam jana padam inastva parajakam lokana varya chata api tadro tadrosha darshinihi. Upon seeing the dust storm, the saintly persons could understand that there were a great deal of irregularities due to the death of King Vena. Without government, the state was devoid of law and order and consequently, there was a great uprising of murderers, thieves and rogues who were plundering the riches of the people in general. Although the great sages could subdue the disturbances by their powers just as they could kill the king. They considered improper on their part to do so. Thus, they did not attempt to stop the disturbance. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> uh, Isha Hare Krishna. Uh, Isha. Huh? Yeah, can you read? Yeah. Brahmana Samadrik Shanto Dinana Samopek Shakaha Shavate Brahma Tasyapi Vina Vandat Payoyataha. The great sages began to think that although a Brahman is peaceful and impartial because he is equal to everyone, it is still not his duty to neglect poor humans. By such neglect, a Brahmana's spiritual power diminishes, just as water kept in a cracked pot leaks out. Hare Krishna. 
Hare Krishna, thank you. Yeah, so Strivate Brahma Tashyapi. So even for a Brahman or a Brahman, right? He should be peaceful and impartial, but he still needs to make sure the humans are not being neglected, right? And uh, it's an interesting purpose. So let's uh, read this, Tarun. Brahman as the topmost section of human society are mostly devotees. They are generally unaware of the happenings within the material world because they are always busy in their activities for spiritual advancement. Nonetheless, when there is a calamity in human society, they cannot remain impartial. If they do not do something to relieve the distressed condition of human society, it is said that due to such neglect, neglect their spiritual knowledge diminishes. Although all the sages go to the Himalayas for their personal benefit, but Prahlad Maharaj said that he did not want liberation alone. He decided to wait until he was able to deliver all the fallen souls of the world. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So Prahlad Maharaj is really a great uh, example. Right? Mm. Rinaji? In their elevated condition, the Brahmanas are called Vaishnavas. There are two types of Brahmanas, namely Brahman Pandit and Brahman Vaishnava. A qualified Brahman is naturally very learned, but when his learning is advanced in understanding the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he becomes a Brahman Vaishnava. Enlistment becomes a Vaishnava once perfection of Brahmanical culture is in incomplete. The saintly persons considered very wisely that although King Vena was very sinful, he was born in a family descending from Dhruva Maharaj. Therefore, the semen in the family must be protected by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Keshava. As such, the sages wanted to take some steps to relieve the situation. For want of a king, everything was being disturbed and turned topsy-turvy. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Anilji? Nagasya vancho rajar shresha sanstatu marhiti amoga virya Hindrapa Vanshesmina Keshavashraya. The sages decided that the descendants of the family of the saintly king, Ang, should not be stopped. For in this family, the semen was very powerful and the children were prone to become devotees of the Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. So, as we know, King Ven was son of King Ang, right? And King Ang was a great devotee, right? But King Ven turned out to be bad. And so, King Ang had to. Uh, you know, he left everything and went to forest, as you saw in the previous shlokas. Right? Tarun? Vini Shitya Mrishayo Vinam Vipanav Yasya Mahipate Mamadan Dururum Tarsa Tatrasi Dwahur Ko Naraha. After making a decision, the saintly persons and sages turned the thighs of the dead body of King Vena with great force and according to a specific method. As a result, as a result of this journey, a dwarf like person was born from King Vena's body. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, all this power of all the rishis at that point, right? Uh, is really being shown here. Yeah, Jyoti? Kaka Krishna Ti Huswangi Huswa Barmu Mahavana Krishya Pani Manasya Gra Raktas Chasara Ma Burjadaha. This person born from King Venus thighs was named Bahuka and his complexion was as black as crows. All the limbs of his body were very short. His arms and legs were short and his jaws were large. His nose was flat, his eyes were reddish and his hair copper colored. <laughs> Uh, I'm 
come in a minute. Give me a minute. Sure. I'm trying to adjust my window. Okay. Sorry. For some reason, it became um, smaller. There we go. Tam to te avanatam dinam kim paromiti vadinam. Nishi de te bruvam sata. <laughs> he was very submissive and meek, and immediately after his birth, he bowed down and inquired, Sirs, what shall I do? The great sages replied, Please sit down, Nishida. Thus, Nishad, the father of Nishad race, was born. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nishad? Tasya Vam Shahasu Nashada Giri Kanana Gotaraha Tiena Hara Jayamano Vena Kal Masham Ulbana. After his Nashad's birth, he immediately took charge of all the resultant actions of King Vena's sinful activities. As such, this Nashad class are always engaged in sinful activities like stealing, plundering, and hunting. Consequently, they are only allowed to live in the hills and forests. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so, you know, it's very interesting how the Nishad class was <laughs> uh, uh, was born, right? And I think, so this is it. This ends the, and thus ends the Bhakti Vedanta purpose of the fourth canto, 14th chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled, The Story of King Vain. Yeah, Buddha Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Yeah. Yeah, so as we know, like what we are reading is the story of Dhru Maharaj's descendants, right? So out of all the descendants after Maharaj Aung, King Wen was born. And that's when all the chaos start, starts happening, yeah? So now we'll continue reading chapter 15, where King Prithu's appearance and, and coronation. So we'll... Sorry, Gajendra? Hmm? Can I ask something that's not making sense? In yeah. general, like, uh, I mean, if King Wayne died, the sages, they went and did something with the thighs to create the the new, dis you know, uh, that created Bahuka. But mm -hmm. why did they create Bahuka in the first place? Because they thought, because it's mentioned in the previous shlokes, right? They wanted to keep the whole descendant of Dhru Maharaj. Like, there has to be someone in their descendant right. because... Most of them were always devotee and the great Rajasris after the Dhru Maharaj, except King Wen. And because King Wen was so, because of some other story or because of her, his mother Sunita's and that Nana's problem, right? So because right. of Nana's association, he became bad, right? So even though they had to kill King Wen because of the chaos he was creating, they still wanted to keep, you know, that. Uh, the descendancy. Right. So then they produce this through the legs, but looks like that Nishad thing was the, still the same, uh, same uh, kind of class, right? Okay. So then now we will see what happens next. I think so. Where King Prithu is born, who is like the greatest king of all. So that's the next uh, thing we are going to read. Right? King Prithu's appearance and coronation, and King Prithu is also. Produced in a similar fashion, right? So okay. We'll yeah. Okay, so we'll start with the chapter 15, Adhya 15, right? We have completed 14. And uh, uh, let's see, so Taru, you want to read? Matra Vacha Atha Tasya Punar Vipreya Prera Putrasya Mahipateha. Bahu Bhayas Bham Madhyaya Mana Vasyaha Mituna Sama Padata. The great sage Maitreya continued, My dear Vidura, thus the Brahmanas and the great sages again churned the two arms of King Vena's dead body. As a result, a male and female couple came out of his arms. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so you see, I mean, your question, right? <laughs> so they were not satisfied. 
So they again churned the arms. Earlier they churned the two legs. To, right. uh, that was the like the Vedas, Shlokas and all these series were so powerful that they could do all those kind of churning and produce. Uh, right? Anilji? Drastva Mithunam Jatam Rashiyo Brahma Vadinaha Uchu Param Santushta Viditva Bhagavat Kalam. The great sages were highly learned in Vedic knowledge. When they saw the male and female born of the arms of Dana's body, they were very pleased, for they could understand that the couple was an expansion of a plenary portion of Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so the sages understood. So after churning, in fact, pretty much kind of expansion of Lord Vishnu. Yeah. And Lord uh, Lord Vishnu and the goddess Lakshmi actually kind of uh, born is what is being mentioned. Param Santushta. So the sages were relieved, right? It says that the method adopted by the great sages and scholars who were learned in Vedic knowledge was perfect. They removed all the reactions of King Wen's sinful activities by seeing that King Wen first gave birth to Bahuka. Yeah, and then described in the previous chapter, right? After King Wen's body was thus purified, a male and female came out of it. And the great sages could understand that this was an expansion of Lord Vishnu. This expansion, of course, was not Vishnu Tattva but a specifically empowered expansion of Lord Vishnu, known as Avesh. Okay. Isha? The Shaya Uchuha Esha Vishnu Bhagavataha Kalabhuvana Palani Iyam Chalakshmya Sambhutya the great sages said, the male is a plenary expansion of the power of Lord Vishnu, who maintains the entire universe, and the female is plenary expansion of the goddess of fortune, who is never separated from the Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So Vishnu Bhagavate and Yamche Lakshmya Sambhuti. So the two are born. Yeah? I am tu pratamo ragyam, tumana pratita yasha, prithu nam maharajo, bhavishati prithu shava. Of the two, the male will be able to expand his reputation throughout the world. His name will be prithu. Indeed, he will be the first among kings. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jyoti. Now, there are different types of incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the Shastras, it is said that Garuda, the career of Lord Vishnu, Lord Shiva, and Ananda are all very powerful incarnations of the Brahman teacher of the Lord. Similarly, Pachpati or Indra, the king of heaven, is an incarnation of the justice feature of the Lord. Aniruddha is an incarnation of Lord's mind. Similarly, King Prithu is an incarnation of the ruling force of the Lord. Thus, the saintly persons and great sages predicted the future activities of King Prithu, who was already explained as partial incarnation of plenary expansion of the Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Rinaji? Rinaji? Yes, I was mute. I'm sorry. Iyam cha sugati devi gunabhushan bhushana archir nama vararoha prithu meva varangate. The female has such beautiful teeth and beautiful qualities that she will actually beautify the ornaments she wears. Her name will be Arshi. In the future, she will accept King Prithu as her husband. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Anilji? Esha Sakshad Re Rancho 
चातो लोक रक्षा इम च तत्परा ही श्री रन जगे न पायनी फॉर्म ऑफ किंग सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड एट हैज अपीयर थ्रू ए पार्ट ऑफ हिज पोटेंसी टू प्रोटेक्ट द पीपल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड the goddess of fortune is the constant companion of the lord and therefore she has incarnated partially as archi to become king prabhu's queen hari krishna hari krishna yeah, so like see right, by going through quickly through the descendants of dhru maharaj we have now come to king prithu right so there is a lot of uh, mention about king prithu's activities and all that in upcoming shloka right okay. um ज्योति मैत्री उवाचारा placed and glorified king prithu and the best singers of gandharva loka chanted his glories the inhabitants of siddha loka shout flowers and the beautiful women in the heavenly planets dance in ecstasy hari krishna hari krishna yeah so everyone up to the heaven celebrated king prithu's uh, birth yeah natarun शंकतुर्य मृदंग गुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्दुर्
Rupayanam. All the rivers, seas, hills, mountains, serpents, cows, birds, animals, have heavenly planets, the earthly planet, and all the other living entities collected various presentations according to their ability to offer the king. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Thus, the great king Ritu, exquisitely dressed with garments and ornaments, was coronated and placed on the throne. The king and his wife, or she, who was also exquisitely ornamented, appeared exactly like fire. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So King Prithu and wife's name is uh, Archi, right? So that is what is being described right now. Yeah, Jyoti. And Jyoti. Ketaru. <clears throat> One minute, one minute, sorry. Tasmai Jahat Danado Hemam Vira Varasmam Varunaha Salila Srava Mata Patram Shashi Prabam. The great sage continued, My dear Vidura, Kuvera presented the great king who too with a golden throne. The demigod presented him with an umbrella that constantly sprayed fine particles of water and was angry as the moon. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so even you see like all the demigods, right? And came and they gave like Kuvel presenting with the golden throne. Varun, who is the lord of? The Varun represents what? Varun is the devata of which element? Air. Hmm? Air. No. Agni. Jal, right? Jal. Jal, oh yeah. Water. The Varun Dev is, is representative of Jal, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Sri Kshan Prabhuji? Uh, yes, Prabhuji. I have to stop for 5 minutes before I will tell a story. I will tell a story. Okay. story, bahut, baniya, story okay. Bayusha Balabhyajane Dharma Kirti Maishrajam Indraha Kirti Kiritam Utkrishtam Dandam Sanyaman Yamaha The demigod of air, Bayu presented King Prithu with two fist chamaras of air, hair. The king of religion, Dharma, presented him with the flower garlands with which would ex expand his fame. The king of heaven, Indra, presented him with the valuable hamlet. And the superintendent of death, Yamraj, presented him with the scepter with which to rule the world. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so see how different devatas are presenting different things. Tarun? Brahma Brahma Mayam Varma Bharti Hara Muttamam Harihi Sudarshanam Chakram Tatpatni Avyahatam Sriyam Lord Brahma presented King Prithu with a pretty garment made of spiritual knowledge. Bharti, Saraswati, the wife of Brahma, gave him a transcendental necklace. Lord Vishnu presented him with a Sudarshana disc. And Lord Vishnu's wife, the goddess of fortune, gave him imperishable opulences. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So, uh, Isha? All the demigods presented various gifts to King Prithu. 
Hari, an incarnation of the supreme personality of Godhead, known as Upendra in the heavenly planet, presented the king with a Sudarshana disk. It should be understood that this Sudarshana disk is not exactly the same type of Sudarshana disk used by the personality of Godhead, Krishna, or Vishnu. Since Maharaj Prithu was a partial representation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead's power, the Sudarshan disk given to him represented the partial power of the original Sudarshan disk. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so we are going to pause here. But as you can see, you know how King Prithu was appeared and then how all the demigods and including even Lord Brahma and Lord uh, Vishnu, Lord, you know, Goddess Lakshmi and themselves came over to present all different kind of uh, gifts and ornaments to King Prithu. So we are going to pause here and then we'll continue reading tomorrow. But yeah, the Siksham Prabhuji? Yeah. Yes, please. Bhagavad, Srimad Bhagavad, we are now reading for one year. Three years. Or eight. Three years ago, yeah. Two and a half. Ah, we have been to 312th session is what we are doing today. Okay. So, we have made our motivation. I have got a lot of good story for this. I thought I would share it with you. Sure. We are all reading the Bhagavad and we are more motivated. भागवत महात्म में गोकर्ण और धूमकारी की कथा आता है जो आपको पता होगा। गोकर्ण और धूमकारी भागवत महात्म में उनका कथा है। तो अभी वो लंबा है मैं छोटा सा करूँ मुझे दूसरा स्टोरी करना है। जब गोकर्ण भागवत भगवान के भक्त थे और धूमकारी उनके भाई थे वो अच्छे नहीं थे उन्होंने कुएं में कूद करके अ और वो प्रेत योनि को प्राप्त हुए तो उन्होंने धुंधकारी को गोकर्ण धुंधकारी ने गोकर्ण को प्रेत रूप में आकर के कहा कि मुझे मेरे मुक्ति के लिए आप भागवत पारायण करिए भागवत का पाठ करिए तो धुंधकारी ने कहा गोकर्ण ने कहा कि मुझे कैसे पता चलेगा कि आप सुनते सुन रहे हैं तो उन्होंने कहा कि जब एक एक दिन बीतेगा तो एक एक बंबू ट्री बांस टूटेगा आप समझ जाना कि सातवें दिन तक पूरा वो सात बांस टूटा और उनको दिव्य स्वरूप प्राप्त हुआ और प्लेन आया बैकुंड से और वो जाने लगे लेकिन गोकर्ण को उसके बाद उसके इस यहाँ तक का स्टोरी सब जानते हैं उसके बाद जो है वो इम्पोर्टेंट है हमारे लिए उनके जाने के बाद गोकर्ण को मन में संका हो गया कि इतने सारे लोग भागवत सुन रहे थे तो एक आदमी को ही मोक्ष क्यों मिला सबको मोक्ष प्राप्त हो जाना चाहिए था सबको भगवत धाम जाना चाहिए था तो वो इतने तेजस्वी थे कि सूर्य देव को उन्होंने रोक लिया उनके उधार के लिए सूर्य देव से उन्होंने पूछा था और इस बार भी उन्होंने रोक के पूछा कि आखिर भागवत में इतना महात्म है तो सब जितने लोग श्रोतागण थे सबका उद्धार होना चाहिए था तो सूर्य देव ने बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट बात कहा जो हमारा हमारे लिए बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है इसलिए मैंने ये अभी बताया सूर्य देव ने कहा स्रोता सब गण थे लेकिन जिस भाव से आपके भाई धुंधकारी ने सुना जिस अटेंशन से जिस भाव से आपके भाई ने सुना वो भाव सब स्रोता गण का नहीं था भागवत में वो पोटेंसी है कि सबका को तार देगा वो कृष्ण स्वयं है ये सिद्धांत हमको पता है लेकिन अगर हमारे पास वो भाव नहीं है वो टेंशन नहीं है तो वो रिजल्ट हमको भागवत जी से नहीं मिलेगा ये कहानी से सूर्य देव ने उनको समझाया तो गोकर्ण का शंका समाधान हो गया लेकिन अभी जो स्टोरी बताने वाला हूं ये अयोध्या अवध दास बाबा जी महाराज का कहानी है जो अभी तो झारखंड में वो जगह है जहाँ चैतन्य महाप्रभु गए थे और बिहार में था पहले तो वो बचपन से ही भगवत भक्त थे 
उनको राम किंकर दास जी महाराज का शिष्यत्व वो उनके शिष्य बने और उनके पास रह करके उन्होंने सेवा किया और इतना अच्छा से उन्होंने भागवत स्टडी किया कि अठारह हजार जो भी उसमें श्लोक हैं भागवत के सब उनको याद हो गए और गुरु का कृपा से सब साक्षात्कार हो गया जब राम किंकर जी उनके गुरुदेव ने शरीर को छोड़ दिया तो वो वृंदावन में आ गए और ये स्टोरी 1860 का वृंदावन में आकर के निवास करने लगे उनका छोटा सा कुटिया था वहीं पर वो रहते थे और साल में सिर्फ दो बार वो बाहर आते थे एक बार एक बार आते थे जब परम पूज्य यमुनाचार्य का जब जन्मदिन आता था अपेरेंस डे आता था तब वो आकर के वृंदावन के गलियों में कीर्तन करते थे और दूसरी बार आते थे उनके स्वयं गुरुदेव का अपेरेंस डे रहता था तब बाकी दिन वो उस कुटिया में ही रहते थे जब कोई जाएगा तो वो भागवत पढ़ते हुए मिलते थे तीन घंटा सिर्फ सोते थे और केवल और केवल भागवत और भागवत पढ़ने का स्टाइल जो था वो बैठ करके भागवत जी को सुंदर कपड़े में लपेट कर रखते थे उनका आरती करते थे गर्मी के दिन में उनको पंखा चावर इत्यादि डुलाए करते थे सर्दी में उनको राजाई कंबल में ढक के रखते थे इनको ठंड लगेगा गर्मी जो भी हमारे साथ होता है वो समझते थे भागवत जी के साथ ऐसा हो रहा है और कृष्ण के बिल्कुल अलग नहीं समझते उनको और पढ़ने का स्टाइल एक एक पेज पलटते थे और उनका स्मरण से ही वो पढ़ते जाते थे वो श्लोक नहीं देखते थे और उनको पता होता था कि इस पेज में कहां तक श्लोक है फिर नेक्स्ट पेज पलटते थे और पढ़ते जाते थे उनका वही मेडिटेशन था वही भक्ति था हर जगह उनका नाम तो फैला ही हुआ था तो शिष्यगण भी थे लेकिन एक दिन एक नौजवान पुरुष आया जो बाबा जी का प्रसाद लेना चाहता था भगवत दास जी बाबा का प्रसाद लेना चाहता था उनके शिष्यों ने बहुत रोका वो रुका नहीं सीधा घर उनके अंदर गया कुटिया के अंदर गया वो आदमी और उनके सामने जाकर बैठ गया था वो समय संयोग से वो प्रसाद ही ले रहे थे तो बाबा जी तो टांस में थे और ये बैठ के बाबा जी से बोला बाबा जी मैं आपका प्रसाद लेना चाहता हूँ कृपया थोड़ा मुझे भी दें बाबा जी ने कुछ सुना नहीं तो उसको लगा कि मुझे बाबा जी नेग्लेक्ट कर रहे हैं तो बाबा जी के प्लेट से बिना ही पूछे उसने प्रसाद लिया प्रसाद लिया तो बाबा जी ने उसका हाथ पकड़ा और उसके हाथ से प्रसाद लेकर के खुद उसके हाथ मुख में उन्होंने खिलाया खिलाते ही वो स्टन हो गया और मूर्छित हो गया ऐसा ही पड़ा रहा शाम तक सब लोग आए कीर्तन वो शाम को भाग, भागवत कथा भी करते थे बाबा जी कथा करते थे तो शाम को बहुत लोग आए फिर उन्होंने देखा कि जब से युवक आया तब से वो मूर्छित ही है पढ़ा ही है बाबा जी ने कहा सब लोग कीर्तन करो कीर्तन होते ही वह व्यक्ति उठ के बैठ गया कथा वगैरह सब होने के पश्चात एक व्यक्ति ने पूछा जब आप मूर्छित अवस्था में थे तो आपके साथ क्या हुआ उन्होंने बताया कि जैसे ही उन्होंने मुझे प्रसाद मेरे मुख में दिया तो तुरंत मैं समाधि में चला गया और मुझे दर्शन हुए कृष्ण के धाम का जहां पर कृष्ण गो बालकों के साथ खेल रहे थे और जो गुरु महाराज है बाबा जी अवध दास बाबा जी कृष्ण के साथ बैठ के प्रसाद ले रहे थे और कृष्ण बाबा जी को प्रसाद खिला रहे थे और बाबा जी कृष्ण को प्रसाद खिला बाकी गोप बाल भी हुए थे कुछ लोग खेल रहे थे तो मैं जब से यही दर्शन कर रहा था आप लोग कीर्तन किए तो मैं वापस आया बाबा जी का ये महत्व था और बाबा जी के शिष्य बन गया जब से उनका वही सेवा किया फिर एक और साधु वहां पर आए जो बाबा जी का शिष्य बनना चाहते थे बाबा जी ने उनको शिष्य बनाया लेकिन उनका थोड़ा दिन के बाद वहां से मन उनका हट गया उन्होंने बाबा जी से रिक्वेस्ट किया कि मुझे अब भ्रमण में निकलना है जाना है चारों तरफ बाबा जी ने कहा कि नहीं ये स्थान छोड़ के आप मत जाओ ये वृंदावन है और आप बंदर जैसा यहाँ वहां क्यों घूमना चाहते हैं आप 
यहीं पर रुकिए और सेवा करिए आपको सब सिद्धि सब कुछ यहीं प्राप्त होगा देखो उस शिष्य ने नहीं माना बोला मैं सब अब तो जो भी है एक साल में मैंने सीख लिया मुझे जाना है तो बाबा जी ने कहा कि ठीक है अब तुम जा रहे हो लेकिन तुमको अब बंदर का यो नहीं मिलेगा उन्होंने ऐसा कह दिया थोड़े समय के पश्चात एक बंदर उनका पैर पकड़ लिया दो चार महीने के बाद बाबा जी देखते समझ गए मिल गया ना शरीर अब रह करके यहीं सेवा करो नित्य प्रति भागवत कथा होता था वो बंदर आकर के सुना करता था और एक दिन सडनली वो बंदर नहीं आया बाबा जी ने कहा ढूंढो कहा है तो आश्रम के छत पे वो मरा हुआ था बाबा ने कहा एक वो लोग वृंदावन गया है भागवत श्रवण करने से एक वैष्णव जिस प्रकार से जब जाते हैं तो उनका हम लोग फाइनल रीति रिवाज जो फाइनल रीति का तैयारी करते हैं ऐसा इनको विदाई करना और बाबा जी ने उस प्रकार से उनका विदाई किया तो ये स्टोरी जो है हमको बूस्ट प्रदान करके भागवत सिर्फ एक मामूली सा ग्रंथ नहीं है ये है कृष्ण का ही अवतार है और हमको जो हम जब इनका पारायण कर रहे थे हम वास्तव में कृष्ण का सेवा कर रहे हैं तो हमारा भाव जो है ये बाबा जी से थोड़ा हमें समझना पड़ेगा और गोकर्ण की कहानी से हमें थोड़ा समझ करके हमारे भाव को और बूस्ट करना पड़ेगा और कंटिन्यूटी भागवत पढ़ने के लिए मैं भी कंटिन्यू नहीं हो पाता हूँ लेकिन मेरा हमेशा मैं यह स्मरण रखता हूँ कार्य आज मैं जुड़ नहीं पाया तो हमें ज... और जुड़ करके रेगुलरिटी बना करके भागवत कथा का पठन और श्रवण करना चाहिए हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी आप सबकी ब्लेजिंग से चल रहा है हम लोग थोड़े बहुत लोग मिलके करते हैं <laughs> तो ठीक है हम लोग दो मिनट भजन सुनेंगे एंड देन विल सी यू टुमारो एट टेन पी एम एंड सेवन थर्टी इंडिया टाइम तो अगेन राधे रानी का अपन दिस इज द वीक वो राधे रानी Astami from last week. We are continuing the same mode of Radhe Rani, so we'll hear that bhajan and then we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Krishna. Radhe Krishna. Radhe Krishna.
Nice bhajan, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of fun, but uh, we'll see you tomorrow, 10 p.m. again. And uh, nice seeing you, Rasik Shambhuji. Thanks for the story. See you tomorrow. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna everyone. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.